All Recipes member comments that this recipe for Chicken Milano is a delicious pasta and chicken dish with garlic, sun-dried tomatoes, and fresh basil. Use the dry, packaged sun-dried tomatoes instead of the tomatoes packed in olive oil. Let's get started by prepping the chopped ingredients. First, rough chop enough sun-dried tomatoes to make half a cup. Next, chop enough fresh basil to make two generous tablespoons. Fresh basil makes all the difference in a recipe like this. Then, mince two cloves of garlic. Now we're ready to assemble our chicken Milano. Put one tablespoon of butter into a large saucepan. Melt the butter over low heat. Add the chopped garlic and cook it for 30 seconds. Now, add in the chopped sun-dried tomatoes and three quarters of a cup of chicken broth. Increase the heat to medium and bring this mixture to a boil. Reduce the heat and simmer uncovered for another 10 minutes until the tomatoes are tender. Add in one cup of heavy cream and bring the sauce to a boil, stirring constantly. Reduce the heat again and simmer it until the sauce is thick enough to coat the back of a spoon. Next, season one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. With salt to taste, and pepper to taste. On both sides. In a large skillet over medium heat, warm two tablespoons of vegetable oil and cook the chicken breasts in the oil, pressing on the breasts with a slotted spatula from time to time. Cook them for four minutes on each side until the meat feels springy and there's no trace of pink left. Transfer the chicken breasts to a cutting board and cover them with foil so they stay warm. Drain the fat from the chicken skillet and place it back over medium heat. Add in a quarter of a cup of chicken broth and bring it to a boil, stirring to include the pan juices. Reduce the chicken broth slightly and then add it to the cream sauce. Add the two tablespoons of chopped basil and season the sauce with salt and pepper. Now, bring a large pot of salted water to a boil. Add eight ounces of dried fettuccine and cook it for eight to 10 minutes until the pasta is al dente, which means done but still firm. Drain the pasta and transfer it to a large bowl. Toss the pasta with several spoonfuls of the sauce mixture. Slice the chicken breasts into two or three diagonal slices. Serve the pasta on each plate and top it with several slices of chicken. Coat the chicken generously with the cream sauce. All Recipes member Mandy Sue says this recipe for Chicken Milano is simple and delicious. I made the recipe as stated and I found the amount of sauce to be perfect for the meal.